Hybrid Fox here, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. In the previous episode, we defeated the final Elite Four member, which was Drayton. It was a pretty good fight. I did relatively well. I would say I planned relatively well. And I was slightly overleveled, but that's beside the point. Now we need to head our way to the front entrance and take on Kieran, which I'm not ready for. I don't think I'll ever be ready for it. To be fair, I am also very overleveled, so I should be fine, maybe, if we're lucky. I do remember a couple of his Pokemon. I am going to plan accordingly. I know what Pokemon I want to chuck up front first. So we'll get to that strategy once this loads up. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to chuck Narin out front for a light screen and Tiny out front because I'm pretty sure he leads with a Dragonite. That sets up Tailwind. So definitely need Tiny up front. So yeah, let's talk to this lady here. Hello, can we fight the champion? I am not ready. Oh, hi Drayton, how we doing? Hey yo, hybrid. Hi, how you doing? What's up? Ready to sign up for your official match? No, not at all. You're hybrid, yes? Mm-hmm. Let me get your championship match set up. This will just take a moment. Okay, sure thing. Please take longer. <laughs> so, hybrid, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? Mm-hmm. Kinda. Ha, huh, no kidding. Mm-hmm. Here's a race to take. I like Kieran better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had all the spine of a wimpod. He hid behind Carmine if you so much as breathe too loud. But I'll tell you what, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as his. But then out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing good's gonna come from this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. Aww. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Guess I've got a soft spot for the lazy life. So now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Wow. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Okay. Are you ready to battle Kirin, the BB League champion? I suppose I have to be. <laughs> oh, joyous days. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. I suppose I have to be. Well, it's all up to you now, hybrid. Yay! Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering you on. Yay! Thanks, Drayden. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked, but we'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh, hello. What's up? This is official BB League announcement. Mm-hmm. A championship match is about to begin in the battle court near the entrance to the academy. If you would like to watch, please make your way there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sound like a good time. Hi, Karen. How you doing? You're still my friend, right? You still like me? Hi! <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Hello. What's up? Okay. Fade to black. Gonna say nothing. I see how it is. Okay. My hands are sweating already. We haven't even started the battle yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. I look so mad. Hi, Karen. How you doing? What's up? Kept me waiting. Wow. <laughs> hmm, I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, hybrid. Hmm, calm down a bit there, Kieran. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. Mm hmm. All of that hard work. All of it. Yes. Hi. <laughs> all just so I could stand up and beat you. Right here, right now. Okay, yay! <laughs> this is what friendship is made of! <laughs> okay, we got this! Oh god, you are challenged by BB League champion Kieran. Okay, so he is going to... Okay, I was right. Oh, so it is a version exclusive. Oh, he just has a polyrath in the first DLC. Oh, I get it. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. Okay, oh, and it drizzles. Do I still have Sandstorm on Lotus? I think I do. Okay, let's go for a light screen with Narin and go for a play rough with the Dragonite because I'm pretty sure the Dragonite is a setter. So if I can get it out quick enough, good. I think it might Tailwind considering that Drayton's one Tailwind is. Oh, wowzers. Doesn't matter the type of matchup works out for you though. I'll still win. Okay. Even Luck's chosen you over me. Not fair. It's just not fair. Well, that was a crit. Damn, I didn't do much damage for a crit then. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Breaking swipe. Ow. Doesn't affect tiny. Oh, yeah, I'm a fairy. Good. Aha. Okay, attack bell. Good thing they're in special. Yeah, how do you like that? See how hard I've trained? Not like the kid you battled in Kitakami. Okay, you'll be fine. Okay, I don't know what Weather Ball does. I have no idea what that did, but we're fine. Okay. You can go for a Dazzling Gleam. 
And I'll go for a play rough, or actually, what Politoed? Is he just pure water? Um, is there something better than the ring can do? Nah, not really. So you do that. I'm just not sure if Dazzling Gleam will take out Dragonite, so I might just leave it and go for a Reflect. There we go. Set that up so we're fully defensive against everything. Good. Okay. Hopefully that kills the Dragonite. I doubt it will. Oh, come on. So close. Weather Bowl again. I just don't want it to set up Tailwind. It probably will. Hurricane. Ow. Oh, okay. You're fine, Narin. You got this. Okay, we'll go for another Dazzling Gleam again, and then you can go for a... A Kickerton Hammer? Or should I... You know what, I'll swap you out to Florian, because I don't want Tiny to take unnecessary damage in case I can set up Reflect again. So I might just save that for now. Okay, off you go, Florian, you got this! Let's see how we go. Dazzling Gleam, that will take out the Dragonite, and the Politoed. It's gonna go down as well. Beautiful. That was a crit. Not bad at all. Okay, one down. <laughs> we are doing okay. Weather Ball. That shouldn't be bad on me because I think Weather Ball is technically water at the moment because it's raining. Oh, Incineroar. Um, hello. Okay, Incineroar. Dark. Fire. What's good against dark types? Definitely not Psychic. Oh, no. And it's intimidating. Ah, okay. Um, he's gonna really hurt Lorian, so and the rin will be slower so incineroar dark type dark good against ghost fighting yes nothing should be good against jet so let's swap in jet and we'll get florian to do a flower trick to take out polytoad the incineroar might kill florian we're just gonna have to wait and see hopefully i'm a bit faster okay off you go jet you're in charge of taking out that incineroar that terrifying terrifying pokemon <laughs> Okay, perfect. The Intimidate popped. I always forget Jet has Intimidate every time. Oh no! Um, please don't hurt me. Oh good, Flower Trick went first. So Florian dies, it's relatively okay. Politoed is down. Perfect. Okay. Now why would you set up Drizzle if you're not going to capitalize on it? Is there any other thing about Drizzle that I don't know? Darker Flaria, okay. Oh good, it was aiming for Narin. Perfect! Haha! Grimmsnarl, very dark. That's also good for Jet. Okay, so we'll go Raging Bull on the Incineroar because that's much more of a problem. And we'll go for a... What's good against Fairy Dark? Fighting again. That's nullified due to the Fairy type. What's good against Dark? I always forget. What about Fairy Steel? Poison. I could you turn into Lotus? Yeah, let's... You turn into Lotus. Sounds like a plan. There we go. I don't want Florian kicking the bucket. <laughs> Too early, at least. Okay, so we'll go into the Lotus. There we go. And you can do some Power Gem as well. Oh, I should try and get Tiny out so I can do a Sludge Wave. That's probably not a good idea. Okay, do some damage. Yes! Ha-ha! Yes! Take him out! Perfect! Bye, Incineroar! Sorry! I know you're a big threat, so you're going. Okay, Spirit Break. Ow! That hurt! What was that? Oh, most likely a bearing move. Special attack, don't need to worry about that. And the rain stopped. That means, yeah, light screen's wearing off and a reflect is wearing off next turn. Okay. Porygon Z, pure normal. Good thing I still have Jet out. Um, we will go for a Raging Bull against you and you will go for a Power Gem. Oh, bugger! Sludge Wave is a... Um, let's just go for you. Oh god, now you're setting up Reflect. I need a brick break! Oh no! Okay, well this is fine. The Hyper Beam. Ow! Don't hit Jet! No! Oh no! Okay. Um, what other problems do I have? I could send out Tiny to go for a Sludge Wave strategy. That might be an idea. Okay, Power Gem. That should be fine. Yes, okay. Perfect. Oh, now we have Reflect worn off. Okay, so with Jet being dead, that's a bit of a thorn in my side. Let's go for Tiny and we'll send out the Sludge Wave because Tiny is immune to that one. So hopefully something might work. Oh, we can also set up the Reflect again just to be safe. And then you can go for a Sludge Wave on both of those. Okay, we'll do that one. Sucker Punch! No, not my Sludge Waver! How dare you! Oh, we set up the Toxic Debris! The first time I think that's ever activated throughout the entire playthrough. 
Okay, and it's recharging. The reflector's up. I still don't have light screen, but that should be okay. Okay. Wait. Sucker Punch. Didn't the Sucker... Wait. H have I just not known what Sucker Punch does? Doesn't that make your Pokemon flinch? Or is, it, is there a chance? I don't know how Pokemon moves work, apparently. <laughs> just go down already. How are you still standing? After all I've thrown. I'm sorry. Okay. He's got his ace, which is Hydrapple, which is an awesome Pokemon. I love this thing so much. Look at him. He's a doofy dragon and an apple. I love him. Okay. So he's going to Terrastalize, I'm pretty sure. Ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, joy. Okay, evasive. That will be fine. It is a okay. Okay, so we've got the reflect set up. Let's go for a play rough on the hydrapple. And then we'll just go for another sludge wave to take out the Porygon D. Okay, I don't need the old me anymore. I change, and I show you I can change once again. Okay. Yay! <laughs> okay, time to terastalize. Still haven't terastalized any of my Pokemon. <laughs> Because every time I do, they just get one-shotted. Oh, he's a fighting type. Which is kind of good because Tiny's using Play Rough. I thought he tried to like to dragon. Okay, that's scary. Oh, no, you're another Hyper Beam. No. Wow, that Porygon Z is annoying. <laughs> okay, Lotus is out for the count. Um, let's go for just Florian. Oh, is it Life Orb? I think it may be Life Orbed. Mm. Okay, so we will go for... Florian, maybe, and just to take out that Porygon Z. Ow. Ooh, okay. That's scary. At least Tiny can get one more hit off, which should be fine. I just need to take out that Porygon. Mmm. Oh, we could go to Narin, but Narin will most likely be slower. Yeah. Let's send out Florian. I just want to get rid of that Porygon, because that Hyper Beam is scary. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. So we'll go for another play rough on the Hydrapple. And then we'll go for just a flower trick for the crit chance on the Porygon Z. Okay, take out that thing. It's fine if I don't take it out this time because it needs to recharge. But good, it is dead. <laughs> Yay, that thing took out most of my Pokemon. <laughs> okay, and a play rough for the final hit, maybe. Yay, beautiful. You're legend, Tiny. Tiny has defeated both the scientist person, Sada. No, I have two row in this version. Defeated both Turo and Kieran. She's become the ace of my whole playthrough. <laughs> Beautiful. You defeated BB League Elite Champion Kieran. Oh, okay. Huh? What? Mm hmm. Kicked your ass. I actually did surprisingly well. Goes to show some strategy can go a very long way in this video game. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. Also, I was heavily overleveled. <laughs> but that's besides the point. It was still fun. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, I did. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. Wow. Okay. Oh, poor Kieran. No, why? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Mm, you're okay. Wow. Way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would you? God, I gotta switch between voices fast. Oh, no. The problem. Wait, Triton! Good match, you two. Wow. <laughs> ah, too bad about the outcome, though. Huh. You condescending little shit, ex-champion. <laughs> you are so condescending! <laughs> It's like, the man is totally not having a meltdown over what just happened, and he's like, Well, you suck, mate! <laughs> wow, you're proud of yourself. Look at you, buddy, way to go! Guess we got a new BB League champion. The Academy's got a prize for people like you, who make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. Mm, oh, a Master Ball, not bad, okay. Don't know what the hell I'm gonna use that on. Hey, Kieran. Mm, this may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but... Yes. I wish you'd go back to having fun with all of us. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go and... Yes. Hmm, win next time. Come again? Uh-oh. He's going crazy! I won't lose next time for sure. I'll... I'll win next time. I'll win. Um, let's say something. Hey, Kieran, snap out of it. <laughs> Oh, joyous day. Hybrid, I... Aw. 
Hi. Woof. <laughs> that is unexplained of why that happened. Um, if we might, um, interrupt. Yes. Well, first, of course, we want to offer Hybrid our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Mm-hmm. Proceed with what? Well, think about it a moment, wouldn't you? If Hybrid is our champion, then that means she's head of the League Club. But she's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if she doesn't stick around? There are so many particulars to sort out. Mm-hmm. Oh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if Kira rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what, me? That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Just a tiny bit, Crispin. Oh, no. I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. Mmm. Uh, Kieran? Oh, yes, bing bong, bing bong, hello! Totally forgot Amaris' voice. This is an announcement for the following student BB League champion Kieran, top elite four member Drayton, Carmine of class 3 2, hybrid, our exchange student. Miss Briar and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to classroom 1 4 as soon as possible. Okay! Easy enough, no worries. What could that be about? Now's not really the time. Yeah, BB League champion, huh? They're gonna need to update that. <laughs> wow. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? That's just not right and certainly not kind. Thank you, Lacey, someone had to say it. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging or we'll never hear the end of it. Go ahead, hybrid, we'll meet you there. Okay, not bad at all. I'll make sure Kieran comes too, even if I gotta carry him. Oh god, I would love to see that image. He's like, come on, best friend! And Kieran's just like, ah! <laughs> oh, joyous days! Does Kieran have anything else to say to me? Hello. Oh, man. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's go see what Briar has to say, and we'll continue from there. Congratulations on becoming the BB League champion. Thank you! I... Oh. Oh, I gotta go this way. <laughs> I always forget. I don't talk to the lady. I just go to the doors. Okay, let's go talk to Briar and see what she has to say. And hopefully what she has to say is not long-winded and takes forever. <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Hello! I am here! How you doing, Briar? Haven't seen you in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Your classrooms are cute. Nothing on my place, though. Ha ha! Hello! We're here, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I am pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. The knees are creaking. <laughs> oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. <laughs> ah, hybrid. Yes, what's up? I heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League. But to think that you'd make it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh, Karen, Don't get all mad. Sorry, Miss Briar. But could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can't read the room either, apparently. <laughs> My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. Mm hmm. I want all of you to join me on an expedition to a secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Ooh, I've been there! Area Zero? That's the place you wanted to visit in Paldea, right? You got permission? My main goal was to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have more ambitions for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapago, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapago, the legendary Pokemon? Mm hmm. Oh, hello. A rather exciting idea, isn't it? I forgot your voice. What is your voice? I do not remember. <gasps> it's Rika! Hello! I love you. <laughs> there you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Um, hi, Miss Gita, how you doing? Hmm, champion hybrid. I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Yeah, I'm here. Ah, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange program. Hybrid just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it all right if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. They have the same voice. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. 
More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater in the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits even for research. That being said, mm-hmm. Recently, we have confronted the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we have had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you've reached out to me as I have requested access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has the wealth of highly skilled trainers and well-trained Pokemon, and with Champion Hybrid also on the team, I'd know I can safely initiate the new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team to explore Area Zero? Sure thing! Let's do this! Splendid. Well said, Champion Hybrid. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. I've changed her voice. <laughs> Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Mm, sorry, but I'll pass this one. Ah, The League Club's a whole mess right now. We need a steady hand on the wheel here. Sure. You just can't be bothered travelling all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty! I'm curious if our mighty ex-champion is thinking, though. Mm? I'm going. Okay! If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Oh, interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems that our team will consist of Carmine, Kirin, Hybrid, and myself. I love how we just send a group of, like, 12-year-olds to this deadly crater. You have my thanks for your help in this matter. I look forward to the great finding that you will no doubt bring back. I am grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. Okay, my dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming reality. Mm-hmm. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Okay, they had the same voice, but we are not gonna comment on that one. <laughs> Beautiful, where we go, but I think with that I'm gonna leave this episode here and in the next episode We are gonna chat to Gita and get heading over to area zero Which is essentially the last stretch of this DLC, which is a lot of fun But we still have plenty of more things to be doing But yes, I'm gonna leave this episode here if you guys like the video give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around Or good. I'll see you guys next time. See ya!